Today's round is at Country Oaks Golf Club up in Washington, Indiana, about an hour north of Evansville. Great weather today, about 80 degrees, a little bit windy. First hole's par five, playing about 480 with the wind. And hit a really good drive down the middle, just to the right side of the fairway. I had about 200 yards the pin but you have to go over a creek right in front of the green and there's no bailout area around the green so I decided to lay up with an eight iron to about so I think at about 50 yards and this pin was tucked to the left so I played it just a little bit safe toward the middle of the green hit a pretty good shot and left me this 12 to 15 footer for birdie. So the greens on the front nine were aerated. Looked like sometime this week, maybe yesterday even. Looked pretty fresh. So the greens on the front nine were a little bit tough to putt. Plus they were watering them pretty heavy, so they were very slow. Second hole's par three. It was playing about 155 into the wind and I hit a six iron I was aiming for the middle of the green and I pulled it left but the pin happened to be tucked on the left hand side so caught a bit of a break on a miss hit and had about oh another 10 or 12 footer up the hill for birdie and leave it a couple of inches short but we'll take the tap in par. And on to number three. Still even par. This is a par four, as you can see, over kind of carry water. I was playing about 370. And I hit a good drive up the right hand side of the fairway, but it slopes hard to the right. Even though I hit the fairway, it rolled out into the right rough but only had about 80 yards or so if even that maybe 70 yards and i hit a 56 degree it didn't hit it terrible just a little bit short so i decided to putt through the fringe i had about five feet of fringe to go through and then the aerated soaked greens and probably should have chipped that because I left it at least six feet short, four par, and missed that putt. So disappointing bogey, good drive, you know, decent second shot, just couldn't get up and down. So this is in par four, playing about 350. That water runs left to right across the fairway. So I played it a little bit safe to the left. Hit an okay drive. Left me about 135. Kind of into the wind. I hit an eight iron. Didn't hit it great though, just a little bit fat. So it left me short. I decided to use a pitching wedge to bump and run it up the hill at about 20 yards. And just didn't start it online. Distance was good. Spin high, but just to the right. So another 10-ish or so foot putt and again not a very good putt from that distance so another bogey and puts me at two over with a about a 400 yard par four into the wind kind of hit that almost like a smother hook started it in the middle of the fairway and then it just hooked 
to the left rough. So it left me a good 150 into the wind, a little bit uphill. I decided to hit a six iron out of that rough, which ended up being a good choice, pin high. Had about 20 feet for birdie. And again, not terrible putts, just uh, can't get anything to drop. I need this little one and a half, two footer. For bogey. And miss that putt. So, not a good three putt bogey. So I'm on the bogey train. Three fives in a row brings me up to a par five, which was playing about 5.30 into the wind. It hit an okay drive. It just flared out to the right and left me about 2.50 or so into the wind with a five wood and probably one of my best five woods of the round because I almost hit it pin high. It was to the left and uh, had about a 60 yard chip back up the hill. And the wind didn't hit it terrible, it's just that the wind caught it and blew it back to the right. And now I have this long uphill putt for a birdie. Couldn't quite get it there, but I have pretty much a one footer tap in. par, so I get off the bogey train and make a par 5. This is the number one handicap hole, playing a little bit over 400, but it was with the wind. It's just very narrow, about 100 yards in. The green is well protected by those trees, and my tee shot goes off to the right, to those trees down the right-hand side, and I ended up having to chip out through the trees, which I was able to with a like a five iron just to keep it low to short of the green and then chipped up my third shot. I actually thought it had a chance to go in. It went just past it. So another eight, ten footer. That would really be nice if uh, one of these would drop and that one literally went, looked like right across the hole. So another five, I think that's five fives in a row, which brings me to a par three. It was playing about 170. Kind of a side wind. I hit a six iron, tried to keep it low. This green slopes hard right to left, so I always aim right on this hole. And the ball always seems to kick back down to the left. So I had about a 25 footer, but have to aim it a good 10 feet to the right. Thought it had a chance. But it's almost impossible to stop at the pin when you're putting that direction. So it left me about three feet up the hill. And I'm able to convert the uh, par. So number nine is a par Four. It was playing about 420. They had us on the back tee box. You had to carry it about 200 to get over the water, dead into the wind. So it left me right at the 200 yard marker there. And I hit a good five wood, just a little left. Pin high, at about a 30 yard chip shot. It kind of flared out to the right, and then that green slopes to the right. So ended up with about a 30 to 40 footer uphill for par. And at least I got it there this time, but not, uh, 
not in the hole. So tap in barely for bogey. So five over 41 on the front nine. Start the back nine with about a 350 yard par four with the wind. And I hit that really good up the right hand side. Left me about 70-ish yards. My 56 degree. So if I can just get this a reasonable spot to have a look at birdie. And I do, left me about 12, 15 feet, middle of the green. And left it short. But a tap in par. And uh, next hole, number 11 is a par three. It was playing almost 165 with the wind and I decided to hit an eight iron. The wind was really picking up and it was strong up on that tee box. So I hit a pretty good shot, pin high, about 15 feet or so. And another one, can't, uh, can't seem to get the putts to drop. So tap that in for par. This par five was playing, I think about 500. Water all down the left, so you can't miss left. So I definitely bailed out to the right. So far right, I was in the other fairway. But I have a layup. Trying to hit it about 170-ish yards with the five iron. Caught it a little fat and hit that tall tree right in front which was at about 150, but it kicked out to the other side, thank goodness, left me about 115 to the pin, but got that false front I need to get up. Didn't hit it quite good enough. Seemed like I hit it solid, but it caught, uh, probably landed five feet short of the green and then rolled back down to here. Left me about a 20 yard chip up the hill. And not a bad chip, a little bit short and right, I believe. And another makeable par putt, maybe six to eight feet, and stop just short. So just one of those days, I can't get, uh, can't get a putt to go. So a disappointing six on a, what should have been a decent or an easy par five. This is a fun par four. It's elevated T, playing about 300. Can't miss it left, jump to the left, so I bailed out to the right, ended up on the T box on the next hole, but really not a bad spot. It's pretty easy chip, about 30 yards or so. Hit an okay chip, not great. Just want to get it on the green. Left me an uphill putt about 20, 25 feet. And yeah, this green slopes hard from my right to left from where I was putting from and it wasn't a terrible putt, left me a little tap in for par. So this par three was playing tough because it was dead into the wind, about two, 210. And I hit a really good five wood, but caught it just a little thin and got into the wind and just knocked it down about 20 yards short of the green. So another up and down chance. Hit that pretty good, just caught it a little bit clean. And went about 10 feet past. So another 10 footer for par. Slides by a little bit. 
tap it in for a bogey four. So this is a par five. It was playing back also, so it was playing about 550. And hit a pretty good drive up the left-hand side. And off the tee box, I caught, uh, caught a little friend here. Shoot him off. Like a little baby snake. This left me a good 250 to the pin. And I hit a really good... Actually, it was about 270, I think. Probably the best five wood of the day. About 30 yards short of the green and had a uh, chip to a green that slopes hard right to left. And I thought I was in trouble because if you land it by the pin, it'll just shoot down the green. But it must have had a little bit of spin or something on it because it stopped fairly quick left me this 10 to 12 footer for birdie uphill can't do it but I'll take the par so this par 4 plays about 370 and it's a tricky little drive because the right hand side at about 250 has water all along the uh, fairway and everything slopes to the water. So I hit a really good three wood to about the 150 into the wind, right in the middle of the fairway. And then just didn't hit a very good, I think it was a seven iron. Just left it out to the right, but pin high and then had another up and down opportunity. Just an okay chip. I wasn't chipping it great today. Not terrible, just not getting anything in that three to five foot range. So how about another 10 to 12 footer? Just not a very good putt. Never had a chance. So tap in for bogey. This par four is playing about 370 today and hole 17. And those trees out there basically line both sides of the fairway. I've never hit this fairway, but hit my best drive of the day by far. Right down the middle to the 100 yard marker. So hit it about 270 into the wind. And didn't hit that 50 degree great, but I got a good bounce. And you can't miss this green to the right. Everything slopes off severely. So left a about a 30 foot putt for birdie. Lagged it up there pretty good. So I'm three over on the back nine. I make this putt, which I do. And I need a birdie to break 80. And this hole is a very cool par four water all down the left. Only plays about 280. So I took my three wood hit a big high draw, started it on the right side of the fairway, drew back to just in front of the green. I think that was about 50 yards, maybe 40 yards short of the pin. And once again, have another up and down opportunity. Hit a good chip, it just ran out just a little bit. So I have this. 10 to 12 footer. <laughs> Seems like every hole I've had a 10 to 12 footer. And do I get it to drop? Barely. Just catches the right side. So 
38 on the back, so solid back nine. Uh, gives me a 38.41 for 79. Not too bad. See you on the next one.